Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be here reading again for you today. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Are you? Are you? Lovely, lovely, lovely bunch. I love all your comments, I do. Uh, and uh, your energy just makes me uh, up there, up there. <gasps> okay, so another speed read. Okay, a speed read is you submit a question to me via email uh, and I will answer it. Because I'm loving them. I'm loving these. <laughs> We're getting some right juicy uh, information as well. Of course, I'll always be uh, doing the full reads as well. Uh, but this is just to keep you uh, entertained. So I bring them on. I bring them on. Okay, so the uh, I, I don't disclose your name, okay? I won't read anything about you. Uh, a lot of shit being thrown at me, obviously. So I don't want nobody uh, being dragged into it. Okay, so be rest assured. I won't name you. Uh, is she happy because Tombi does not reveal anything about the children? Is Megan happy because... Is the reason Megan's happy is because he didn't mention the children or the, whatever? Do you know what I think it is? I think she's happy because maybe there's some of these things in the, the book that she can uh, put right or, you know, in actual fact, when we say forgive ourselves, we don't. It's like how we look to others uh, and maybe not appearing that bad, <laughs> depending which, uh, you know, uh, what sunglasses you're wearing that day. So I think this is more, uh, it's definitely about judgment, but I think feel it's, like, she kind of feels that there's good stuff in there uh, and it's not bad. And if uh, he's so researched and that's all he's come up with, you know, uh, it's a good way into of, like, wiping the slate clean. So, um, I think that's it. I think it's how the book makes her look. But we won't leave off uh, about the kiddies. We'll just go back to it in a second. So, I think it's about how uh, she's interpreted it to, to look and really... You know, in the grand scheme of things, is there anything shocking in there? You know, uh, that I don't think there is. I mean, all right, he's got some, he's confirmed some bits, juicy bits we didn't know. Uh, but we all wanted to know about the uh, pregnancy. Now, I do feel as well, I've seen uh, something. I don't know if it was a body language guy. Uh, and he was saying the queen and everybody was looking at a, a shawl. And that's in the book. So, yeah, I think she is uh, happy. I think she is, you know. I think this person who's uh, wrote to me, I think they're correct. She is happy uh, that stuff like that was uh, about the kids wasn't put in the book. But there's an almighty sort of like uh, pin drop, isn't they, where, where he says that. I think, I don't know if I'm right, but I don't think there's much more. But that is a, that's something not to be overlooked. In fact, we'll ask. <gasps> Never mind just talking about it. Let's ask. Oh my god. Was Tom Bauer making a major hint in his uh, book when he said uh, the thing, uh, Queen, and that was looking at a shawl? So, Tom Bauer, I'm on about not uh, body language. What was Tom Bauer's. Uh, what did, what did Tom Bauer want us to know about uh, they were just looking at an empty shawl? He's trying to show uh, somebody who caused this, who caused this Five of Pentacles uh, re reversed. It's when you cause yourself harm. So I think that's all he could say. He couldn't go any uh, further. So why did Tom Bauer uh, write in his book, uh, you know, that basically uh, the Queen, Philip and everybody else was looking at a shawl? Why did he uh, do that?
Right, okay, well we definitely know the Ace of Pentacles, uh, you know, the Ace of Cups can be a pregnancy, but this is your birth card, this is your birth card, okay, Ace of uh, Pentacles. So of course he wanted to get it in there, we're talking about money as well. But he'll have been very, very nervous uh, uh, about uh, dropping this hint, okay, so he's dropping this hint about the birth of a child, about the birth of a child. And a prop. I don't know why I'm seeing a, a, like a, some kind of prop uh, as well. I don't know what they mean by prop. Uh, it could be like it was a f baby or what. I don't know. Physical attraction. To show what they was looking at. So it's to hint at the birth. Him being nervous, it's the only thing he could do, wouldn't it? It's the only thing he could say without saying any more. I mean, that's clever just to find a way of saying that, uh, which can be misinterpreted or interpreted as you like. But I think uh, he, I can't help but feel this about Mr. Bauer. He's supposed to be respected and I know that, but I can't help but feel like this is about money as well. So money not to go on anything. I haven't read the book, I haven't even heard it, I haven't listened, I unsubscribed from uh, all uh, Megan uh, channels uh, for my own reasons, not because of insults, it's not near, but for, for something else. But anyway, yeah, um, I think that's as far as he could go. I, I, but I feel like he kind of profited in, in some way. So, <clears throat> But that doesn't mean that the Harkles paid him. It, it could be meaning that you know he'd have lost money putting it in the book or it'd have been sued or uh stuff like that uh all the lawyers had advice because i'm getting law law of attraction here so yeah you do this and i'll have to do that so he's giving us a hint why do i see a cake <laughs> some a cake okay i, I see a cake I see a cake, that's all I can say, I see a cake. And a ring, a ring of truth though, not a, a physical ring, a ring of truth to it. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Why didn't Tom Bauer uh, write about uh, Megan's children? Because it was, I'm kidding, it, it's useless, you know. It wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. So it had just been a, a waste. It would have got stopped uh, and everything. Now, I don't think there are laws uh, about writing about children as well. Um, and this could have been a loss to, to him. You know, things could go badly wrong when you're uh, writing about ch their children. So, and I don't mean, oh, they'd get a hit squad or anything. I just think that maybe some laws uh, that are governed. So maybe it wouldn't have got past uh, their lawyers in you it once. So why waste uh, time on it and, uh, you know, uh, get worked up? Whereas... In that little thing of a shawl. Well, we know, don't we? So, did Megan have any input into Tom Bauer's book? Did... Megan, get her lawyers uh, to check out. No, uh, let's have a look. Did Megan fear Tom Bowers writing about the children? I think I'm going to get a no here. <laughs> Why 
Well, I think Aaron Harry uh, definitely uh, thought there was going to come off uh, out of out of favour, fell out of favour. Uh, but they didn't obviously get involved, and they didn't. But I do see like they may have tried to get other people uh, to so like talk to him in a way, to, like to put Harry and Meghan's thoughts across. And by no means do I mean like uh, he said, she said in the book. I'm talking about you know they weren't getting involved, but you know. Uh, maybe sending a warning shot saying you talk about the children and we'll have you, you know. Uh, so I kind of get uh, that. I kind of felt like uh, Megan f felt it was uh, difficult and she almost wanted to come out and say something herself. Um, the, the temptation was always there with her to want to be right, to be want to have her say, uh, to be able to respond to her. Um, I do feel like, yeah, she, she was... Uh, I'm not seeing her horrified or anything, but I do feel like uh, she was just glad that it was there and Harry uh, that got berated um, and nothing much more. She was happy that, you know, like whatever you say about me and my husband, that's fine. Uh, but stay off the kids. So I don't think she was worried. Uh, and I do feel like she was sweating a bit because there's that temptation uh, to come out uh, uh, and so like try and uh, get your anything before his so how does she feel about the book now yeah she's happy she's happy she's happy uh she's happy i don't know if there's pictures here or something but she i don't know if she feels like she looks good you know uh this has made her look good this has made her look good this is also my card for Tom Bowers as well, saying, you know, time to shine. You got it right, girl. Um, I don't get it sometimes. I don't get it. And when I don't get it, I'm like, oh, I must be wrong. I must be wrong. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just still feeling like it puts her in a good light. She probably, she will find stuff in there that she likes. Um, and do you know what? That's I think that's what I do as well. You can take the insults, but you can also turn them into a positive and I think that's what she does it's how we survive um because we can't lose control we like to be in control we don't like like to lose control not a nice thing but you know uh so yeah I think uh, she thinks that uh the fact everybody thinks her and Harry are in love and that you know she's his wife um and, and now she's thinking right I can sit back I can sit back now and relax that's what she's thinking I can sit back uh, and relax so I don't see anything, I've said to you before, she just sees it as more uh, PR because you've got to understand like to have loads of people writing books on you, she probably sits there on Amazon counting them all, you know, uh, and, and videos, uh, you know, all made about them. She absolutely loves it because that's what she sees on their, their surface, you know. Anyway, okay, so now we know that. Okay, right, speed speed rant over. <laughs> or speed read. Like that, don't you? Speed read. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye now. Bye-bye.